Today I've got the brand new BAM box, BAM gamer box. So from the size of this, it appears this might have an autographed Funko Pop in it. Because most of the time when the boxes are this tall, that usually means Funko Pop. So hopefully it does. Sometimes they'll post kind of not, not spoilers, but kind of like a heads up on Facebook, like the BAM box community Facebook group. Hey, this box is coming with a Funko Pop this time, or autographed memorabilia piece. But I actually didn't see anything. But so this box is thirty dollars a month, plus shipping and handling. So for thirty bucks, you'll get an art print, a pin, scratch off card, like a trading card, and then an autograph. So the price point's actually pretty good. And Bam Box has several boxes now. They got the Gamer Box, the Geek Box the horror box, the anime box, and then a new one called like the BAM Plus box or something like that, that's like 75 bucks. I didn't buy the first run of them. Uh, you had a choice of like horror, sci-fi, or like pop culture. I just passed in the first box to kind of see what is in that first box. And I'll decide later on if I'll start buying that also every month, because right now I'm getting four BAM boxes a month. Do I need it like additional fifth one? We'll find out later. Once people start getting in this new band like Ultra Box, Ultra Plus or something like that. But here we go. Bam Gamer. This is actually a newer box that they just started doing in 2020, right? Pretty sure it was. So far, it's been solid. I have had no complaints about the about the gamer box, especially for the price point. Little peak, as we're seeing on top. Take off the BAM paper. And, yep, we've got a signed Funko Pop this month. That is very exciting. So we'll pull out the trading card first. Oh, there's a scratch off too. So the trading card is, I don't know. Pretty much the only video games I play is Call of Duty and Madden. So there's going to be quite a few items from boxes like the Gamer Box. I will probably not know what franchise it's from. Just like this card. I have no clue. But congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is a set of, is part of a set of two, bigger set of 12. This is numbered 866 out of 2500 by the artist George Vega. So a pretty cool art card. Um, looks like it might be some kind of like, maybe like a horror game or something. Maybe this is Resident Evil. No, it's not Resident Evil. I don't know, but pretty cool though. But here we go. Here is the monthly scratch off card where you can win TV sets, PS4s, upgraded boxes, upgraded items. I have never won. I actually have talked recently to a few people who actually did win. The best prize so far, I think I heard was a free BAM box by no in the BAM community group. Somebody posted that somebody actually did win a TV set and they actually showed the card. So first one is the PlayStation 4. I need two more PlayStation 4s and I get a PlayStation. Uh oh. Second spot, PlayStation 4. Right now, if it's, if it's third spot, PlayStation 4, I just want a free PlayStation 4. Ah. Uh, Nope. Last spot is art print upgrade box. So they had us totally tricked. Two out of three or PlayStation 4 did not win, but that's okay. Maybe someday I'll win. Let's see. We have a second scratch off card. I know there was a few boxes last month that were missing scratch off cards and you're supposed to get two in your next box. So this must have been uh, one of the boxes that I was short. I was shorted with two boxes. I know one was like the horror box, I think it was. Second scratch off card, once again. First is the PlayStation 4. Second, oh, 4K TV. So I've already, already lost. And the third one, art print upgrade box. So, loser. So... <laughs> Got two of them, and both of them were a loser. Oh well. 
Can't win them all. Funko Pop, I'm gonna take this out, put it off to the side so I can get to the rest of the items in this box. Here we have the monthly pin. Some of these items can have an upgraded to them. And this one is, oh, looks like we got a, what's his name, Toad from Mario. Volume one, box three, collectible pin. This pin has limited release. If the back of this pin is numbered, then it's limited. If it's not numbered, it's not limited. And this one is not limited. So there's no number in the back of it. So this is just like the common pin that got released for this box. But it's pretty cool though. These pins, I never keep them because I don't collect pins. But I know a lot of people out there do collect these uh, like pins and uh, always sell them on eBay. And I always direct link my eBay store down below. Check it out. And we have Lucy O O's. I have no clue what this is. I'm sure whatever that thing is, that's the video game. This is just a makeshift like a cereal box. I have no clue what game that's for. Some people actually pay pretty good money for these cardboard boxes, like these display boxes. I always sell mine on eBay, and somebody always buys it. Sometimes, I think last one I sold for like 10, 15 bucks. For like it was, I think it was, it was the Stranger Things, like uh, Ego's box. I sold it for like 15 bucks on eBay when it first came out. So people will, will buy these. Like, I don't want this. Somebody will buy it. Next, we have the art print. I peeked at it first. That's who we're looking at. And this is, I don't know. Like I said, I pretty much play two kinds of video games. I play Call of Duty and Madden. And this is neither. But this is number 280 out of 2000 or 2200 art print. It's pretty cool though. But like this, I will sell. I don't keep art prints. I, I did for a while, for a couple years, but I don't keep them anymore. I pretty much sell them all now. But this fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to Bambox and has been hand signed by the artist and is guaranteed to be authentic. Okay. And I think the only thing left now is the signed Funko Pop and then the cheat sheet. Here we go. Signed Pop. This alone is worth more than what the box price is. Let me find the top of this box. Okay, there's the top. There's the back. You ready? Signed Funko Pop. Three, two, one. Oh, it's looking at me. I have no clue who that is. I'm going to take it out of the protector. But yeah, my favorite protectors in the business are the seven bucks a pop. Pop shield pop protectors. That's what I use for all of my, whenever I sell them. This is the video game Dota 2, and they used a Sharpie on it. Always use a paint pen when signing Funko Pop windows. Paint pens look so much better than Sharpies. That's just personal preference. That's what most people do do like. Whenever you sign like action figures or stuff like this, use a paint pen, but that's still pretty cool. And it is Beckett authenticated. Beckett is a legit third party um, service that, that authenticates autographs either in person or by their expertise. And yeah, this is the Earthshaker. I have no idea who signed this. But uh, I won't keep it. I have no desire for this. So I will be selling this autograph Funko Pop. I think everything from this box is actually going to, it's going to get sold. Here we go with the cheat sheet. The monthly cheat sheet. That is what we're looking at right now. That we'll be going off of. September box number two. With a new generation of gaming on the horizon, we wanted to celebrate some of our past favorites as well as what's to come in this month's gamer box. There's definitely something for gamers of all generations this time. Celebrity autograph from the biggest eSport game of them all, Dota 2, we were able to track down and deliver to you John Patrick Lowry, the voice of fan favorites, characters Doom, Earthshaker, Pudge, and more. Lowry is well known for his work in games, starring in multiple Halo games, Infamous and Half-Life 2. Just to name a few, which of his iconic characters did you get? This must be an upgrade, actually. 
because this box, the paperwork's actually showing autograph 8x10s for the gamer box. Over here in the corner, it's showing autograph 8x10s. This is the signed Funko Pop, so I think I actually got an upgrade. That's, that's how it looks on the bottom. The level ups don't say anything about signed Funko Pops. Or unless we all got signed Funko Pops, I don't know. But fan art pen from Super Nintendo, Mario Kart, addicting as ever. You had the Toad, Princess Peach, or Bowser. Fan art print was from Assassin's Creed. The prop replica, oh, the cardboard box prop replica. Anyone who's played Overwatch knows that it's important to keep up with those reflexes. Eating your Lucille O's straight from the game to your breakfast nook. I, I don't know. Our select card has to do with Silent Hill. Then the upgrades were the art print, the, the, the trading card, then the pin. And then the autograph shows a different picture. So I think I actually got an upgrade. That's, that's how it looks. I don't know. Did, did you buy this box? Did you get a signed Funko Pop or did you get a signed 8x10? At this point, I don't know if I got the upgrade or not. I might have. I'm, I'm not too sure. But anyway, fantastic buyer for this box. This pop alone is worth more than what the box costs. So, once again, band box, two big thumbs up. Drag link down below to the band box. Check them out. I'll see you next time.